I think that's the that's the SG skin. All the SG players play like the gold or yellow skin. Yeah. All right, here we go, game one. On Smashville. I've had a hard time against the Vampire Ninja my Pikachu. I think I think we might be in for a kind of a slow-paced match because I think both of these players are very evasive. Yep. That's how I describe uh, Fampy's. Very nice style. Style. Oh. Yep. There you go. On the board there. Yeah, this is going to be a very careful match. Oh. Alright. That's actually a decent trade. He still took the full dash. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess so. I'm surprised that that, that U2 neutral air didn't hit. That's weird. Oh, okay, good air dodge, but I would have fallen for that. Uh, yeah, that's such, a, that's such a weird move to throw out. It like doesn't have true follow-ups, but it has like so many setups. Yeah. Also, I love it when U2 just like stands there and down tilts over and over. Yeah. It's like, what are you gonna do? Like, There's nothing you can do. Like, yeah. Oh. Um, Kitaku is not shy with the shadow ball. Oh, yeah. Pressure. He's not afraid to throw it out because he uses that as, as like a way to bait your approach. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, likes being, he likes being rushed down as me too. Oh, okay. Air dodge is out of there. Oh. Uh, that was a really clever spacing by Itaku yeah. coming in from above with that shadow yeah, ball. Exactly. He was on the wrong side. Yeah. He's usually getting in some weird situations. It's a really good, it's actually really good at getting uh, Greninja like out of, out of combos. Ooh. Yeah, it is. You have that, yeah, you have a gigantic, gigantic double jump and a really hard to read air dodge. Uh, okay. He makes it back. Uh, Are we about to see it? Oh, nice. why? He just bumped into the stage. That's so rough. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we're going to see the close two stock here. The famous, it was a close two stock from fam. Oh. Yeah, it's not finding a way to get in. Yeah. Oh, he went for it. It's a trade. Wait, what? I, I didn't even realize. Oh. With a get up attack. Yeah. I didn't know that could happen. And yeah, that's game one. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. That's always nice when you do like a down air and you miss the spike hitbox, but you get the you get the hitbox that sends them out and you just stage spikes them anyway. Yeah, it seems kind of like he's, I don't know. Uh, ooh, I don't know. I, I really wish I knew more about uh, Greninja's approaches. It's tough because he doesn't have much going for him on that upper quarter. The forward air takes too long, but there he's going to be on top of them. The bear he's throwing out and seems to be something, but jumping isn't helping him much. Oh, okay. That was pretty cool. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That was weird. Um, I kind of... I, you know what would be really cool is... as sort of a mix-up option if we could see Fam, like, uh, counter the Shadow Ball, like, in neutral. And just, like, because you can direct what direction Greninja goes in when he attacks. You can just do, like, an instant rush down. Ooh, good read. Wow, I can't believe that covers Mewtwo's air dodge. It's such a good option. Countering Shadow Ball sounds like a good punish on the That covered a lot of options. Oh, for sure. Yeah. That's actually a 
actually not that... I mean, if they shield the disable, they might be able to punish it, but that seems to be like a pretty safe move, actually. Yeah. And it's definitely worth it if you hit it. Okay, he misses the spike hitbox. Fancy is still alive, and he spikes Itaku. Right back it's... at you, Itaku. All right. Check that. We are in there, boys. It is not a two-stock. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. No, he pauses and he quits. No. <laughs> Let the let the record show. We got this on low.